need for modulation. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define modulation. Explain the need for modulation. In the previous topic, you were introduced to the communication system. In this topic, you will learn one of the important processes used in communication system. It is modulation, which literally means change. Before heading to the topic, let us look at an analogy to understand the need for modulation. Do you think that you can throw a piece of paper to a distance of 5 to 10 meters? It is impossible because the paper is of less weight. At the same time, if you enclose a stone inside the paper, it can reach longer distance when it is thrown. This is because of the stone's weight. Stone carries the paper along with it. Here, we can compare the less weight paper to the low frequency message signal in the communication system. This weak signal cannot travel across longer distance without any loss. Hence, we will take the help of a high frequency carrier signal. By superimposing the low frequency message signal with the high frequency carrier signal, we can send the message over longer distances. One of the popular communication systems where the process of modulation is applied is in radio communication. Most of us have radio in our house, right? Radio gets the signals from the base station. The frequency of human voice signal ranges from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. These are low frequency signals. It is impossible to transmit these low frequency signals directly due to certain drawbacks. Let us see. What are the problems involved in transmitting the low frequency signals directly? The first problem is the height of the antenna. In any communication system, for transmitting a signal, we need an antenna. For efficient transmission, the height of the antenna should be at least one fourth of the signal wavelength. If we consider sending low frequency of 15 Hz, the wavelength is 20 kilometers. Then, one-fourth of the wavelength is 5. Thus, we need to design an antenna with a height of 5 kilometers, which is practically impossible. The second problem is interference. If there is more than one base station in a city, then the signals with same frequency get mixed up with each other. The third problem is poor reception. As per the equation, Representing the energy of the electromagnetic wave, it is clear that the energy of low frequency signal is very low. On travelling across a longer distance, they become very weak. Another problem is the effective power radiated by an antenna. Theoretically, the power radiated from a linear antenna of length L is proportional to L by lambda whole square. This shows that when we transmit a message signal of longer wavelength, that is, of low frequency, the power radiated will be very small. The reason for all these problems is the low frequency of the signals. If the frequency is high, we can overcome all these problems. But how will we increase the frequency of the message signal? Actually, we will not increase the frequency of the message signal. but we will superimpose the low frequency message signal with the high frequency carrier signal. Hence, the characteristics that is amplitude, frequency and phase of the carrier signal will be changed in accordance with the message signal. This process is called as modulation. Let us see how the problems in the transmission of the low frequency signals are overcome by modulation. To overcome the problem of antenna height, if a high frequency signal of 1 MHz is used, the height of the antenna will be around 75 meters, which can be achieved practically. To overcome interference, if the stations transmit high frequency signals like 2 MHz and 6 MHz, then their difference will be high, that is, 4 MHz and thus the waves will not mix with each other. To overcome the problem of poor reception, if the frequency of the signal is high, 
automatically the energy of the signal will also be high and hence we can obtain a good quality signal at the receiving end. By using high frequency transmission, we can achieve high power radiation without changing the antenna height. Modulation helps us to replace the wired medium with wireless medium communication. Also, we can achieve a high range of communication by using modulation. So far, we have studied about modulation and the need for modulation. When the modulated signal reaches the receiver, it is necessary to separate the message signal from the carrier signal. This process of recovering the low frequency message signal from the modulated signal is called as demodulation. Now, let us solve a problem based on height of the antenna. Find out the height of the antenna required to transmit a voice signal of frequency 3 kHz. We know that for efficient transmission, the height of the antenna should be equal to lambda divided by 4. We can obtain the wavelength from the equation shown here. Thus, the wavelength is 100 km. One fourth of it is 25 km. From this lesson, you have learnt about modulation. Problems in direct transmission.